Got some serious gold medal, silver medal, bronze medals collected amongst all of these swimmers in the water. Right now, nobody marked as top 10 in the world. 209.93 for Draybot earlier today. She's been at 207.18. You gotta be at 207.96 if you're gonna find yourself amongst the top 10 in the world in 2019. Pretty tightly bunched field still. Draybot and Smith. We just saw Smith in that 50 backstroke. A quick turnaround to go and swim the 200 butterfly right after swimming a 50 backstroke. Layton Ford, Trayvon in the lead. Like I mentioned, she was second in Richmond in this event. Splitting a 101.56, a full second faster than she was in prelims. If she can hang on to that pace, she may find herself in the top 10 in the world this year. Trayvon finished 2018 as seventh in the world with that personal best of 207.18. Reagan Smith was 10th in the world last year. And it's Trayvon and Smith right now. Keep an eye out for Ella Easton. We know that she has serious endurance ability. The four-time NCAA 400 IM champion all four years of her college career, finding herself atop that podium. We'll see if she's got the speed to finish and take the win. Also, swim clubs, Drayvon and Easton try and track down Reagan Smith as well. In lane number five, Smith though may be making it a back-to-back -back win here. But no, it's Katie Drayvon, 208-57. Two two oh for Drayvon in that one moment and she will win the 200 butterfly Um, it's definitely very exciting and Reagan put up a great race and she's a great competitor and um, it really gets you motivated towards the end to really push through and fight to get your hand on the wall first. What was going through your mind that last 50? Um, really just stay strong and stay connected with my stroke. That's something we've really focused on this year. Um, and uh, I keep to my breathing pattern which changes the last 50 so I really just wanted to stay committed to that and not give up. For you, after last summer, how did that affect your goals coming into this summer and what you want to achieve? Um, I definitely didn't have a whole lot um, going into last summer in terms of expectations. And this year I've kind of refocused and um, really just reset some high goals for this year and um, making sure I push towards that each practice. And um, yeah, so really just refocusing my goals and it motivates me every single day. Katie, congrats, thanks for the time. Thank you. Katie Draybot able to take the win.